in today's video we are going to review the spark os update yes that is right our friend ash has actually compiled a spark rom it is an official rom and it is gab's version so let us try to see how uh, good the spark is First of all, this is a blur enabled ROM, so you can, I mean, from the screen record, you may actually have, or you may notice some lag. So um, that might be the reason, maybe because I'm recording the screen, I'm not sure. Uh, apart from that, it is pretty much smooth, even uh, even when we enable the blur. So um, the kick settings, I mean, spark it has a lot of customization the last rom that i've used for spark was android 12 since we had official for android 12 well the user interface in android 12 was many uh, customizations were there and it was a little bit different but uh, here it is actually stock so this is the android 13 version for spark and um, the launcher part well, we all are familiar with the launchers because it is the same launcher that is being used in uh, CR Droid and stuff like that. So pretty much all the options are sp uh, all the options are same. So since it is the GApps version, you can see Google and stuff like that. But it is not bloated with a lot of Google applications. Let us go to the settings now. So this is how the settings look uh, looks like. And uh, when you tap on the battery, you can see that the battery um, page has been changed a little bit. Uh, we have a nice green little indicator for the battery thing. And there is idle manager also. So you, you can actually expect to have a little bit more battery. And once you go to sound and vibration, you also have the direct sound enabled in the uh, sound and vibration. So yeah, you can use the direct sound enhancer. Now, um, the customization part of, of the ROM comes under the fireworks. So basically, this is where you can expect to have some customization for the ROM. As I've told you in the um, initial, um, we, I mean, as I told you earlier, this is a ROM with a lot of customization. So basically, you go to themes, you will have the Monet engine. You can pick a custom uh, color picker is there. Custom theme, you can select fonts you get a lot of a uh, lot of choices of fonts so really that is really great and if you have custom fonts that you wish to use you can also do that but what do you need to do is you just need to select this radio button from here custom font and i yeah and here uh, it has enabled so you can select the font whichever font you want to install so you will have uh, quite a few choices of uh, signal icon um, Wi-Fi icon, icon shapes, then you can also choose to have different uh, sort of menu layout for the settings page. Then yeah, sub menu headers, I I'm not sure what it does, but yeah, it, it is there. <laughs> and uh, you can customize the kit settings, uh, columns and rows. Then you can adjust the brightness lighter position. You can also adjust the quick uh, settings uh, transparency and yeah material dismiss button and you also can choose different volume panel styles so that is about the theming option under the fireworks then comes the lock screen it is actually pretty much the basic stuff so there is no um no new thing being added this is something that we are always familiar with uh, in other roms then coming to a status bar and then you get a status bar items clock style clock and date style you can also enable background chip from here then uh, battery bar is there network traffic indicator you can adjust the network traffic indicator size then logo is there so basically you get a few choices of logos you can uh, choose a couple of logos so there are 28 styles then colored icons data disable indicator uh, you can also choose uh, custom wall light icon and battery style few battery styles are also available then going to next is uh, gestures so basically it is the basic stuff that is over here and uh, miscellaneous well it is reticker option is there in the miscellaneous and uh, there is actually a different kind of style uh, for the reticker option which we are familiar with in a product uh, project blaze and all 
status bar layer key is here kill up button toast stop uh, icon and uh, add block is there so pretty much it has many good customization options available with the ROM so um, the last one is power menu you can choose custom uh, power menu options so yeah for the power menu animations you can choose custom options then coming to the um, coming to the security you get to have the face and fingerprint unlock and screen lock then the ROM is not encrypted by default there is also app lock too so um, this is how the ROM feels like the ROM is pretty much smooth and uh, the ROM is actually using um, Ash uh, the let me show you about device the ROM is actually using 4.19.157 pyro kernel and the ROM is on the latest security update patch to 5th of December so this is my review about the ROM I really like uh, love the ROM and it's great ROM Spark OS is a great ROM uh, it has many customization I know it from Android 11 so if you wish to use another ROM which has quite a good customization for your Jews or Kime device definitely you can consider Spark OS once again I would like to thank Ash for compiling the ROM for our devices and also for to you for watching my video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.